Well, welcome to a new video. Thanks for checking this out. So you're here to find out how to get a video and audio out of your Sega Dreamcast and work them on your, perhaps your new 4K TV, because you've only got a HDMI input. It's very common these days. So the, in this video, I'm gonna just cover three different products that I do recommend and show you the pros and cons of each one. So if you're new to my channel, I'm Jay from rightsprite.co.uk. And now with the original Dreamcast, you came out with a lot of different peripherals and different connectivities. So when you originally bought it, you would have had an aerial case which came pretty obsolete pretty quickly and then what was pretty common after that I had a bit more of a easier accessibility of just trying to get the image out from the console to the TV was the composite It's more popular over in the States but basically all the video information the colors and the whites and the black would be all coming through that yellow cable so that's why you got a bit of a, a smudgy texture coming out for your TV so I do not recommend trying to get that on your HD TV or even get them those converter adapters because you're just pushing out that composite actual image again now a bit even better quality was the s video again not really popular over here and especially with the dreamcast as well but with the s video it actually split up the whites and the blacks so and the colors so you got even even a better image quality from that but again the jump wasn't that great and even better again you had the rgb scat and that is very popular and people are still very happy using the rgb scat especially if you're using the crt tv and then one thing that was pretty unique for the Dreamcast, especially for the time, and even still today, it was accessible to a VGA adapter. Now these VGA adapters actually pushed out a higher resolution, a 480p. Now PCs in those days were still using those and it was very common. So you can actually connect this to a PC CRT TV and people are really pretty happy with just using that. But again, they're not very popular, but we're gonna look into the HDMI adapters. So you can actually get them out onto your big screen, into your, your main living room perhaps, and get them working onto your 4K TV. So now let's have a quick look at these adapters themselves and I'll show you some comparison capture footage as well later in the video. But I do have to say now, because the actual adapters, the level hike and the Kaiko adapters won't accept my capture card, I've been just been filming it on the TV. That's kind of the best I can do at the moment, but you do get a kind of understanding of what type of image quality that you get. And we'll go ahead and show you that now. So let's have a quick look at the adapters themselves. This is the level hike HDMI. So this is basically a plastic casing and you've got the connector there that goes straight into the DC itself and then you've got the HDMI out straight from there you've got a decent size LED to indicate you've got power coming out and so yeah it's got a decent size and let's look at the Kaiko one but here so it's got a bit of a smaller profile and it's got a bit of a bit of a firmer plastic feel it's got a bit of a color indication here so that basically again is straight into the console it's straight HDMI into your TV. A good thing about these cables, adapters, you can actually get things like the M cable adapter to actually bring up more upscaling and things like that if you wish to do so yourself. But just to get a straight HDMI into your TV, this is a pretty simple, easy method to do so. Now with the actual level hike, there's a bit of a, I would, kind of a cooling system, I would say. But to be honest, these do get a bit hot, but there's no upscaling involved. This is a straight pass through of the resolution from the DC into your TV. But when it comes to OSSC, which is gonna be my next recommendation, this is an all-in-one unit, and I did a coverage as well. If you wanna check out that video, I'll put that up there and also in the description below. But this will actually intake, uh, have inputs of multiple devices. So this is a bit of a premium experience I found, and there's a lot more configuration involved. But there is kind of a plug and play, but it does take a bit of fiddling to try and get your image out to your TV. But the best thing about this is the VGA input. So depending on the actual cable that you got with your Dreamcast, you get a bit of a different type of quality experience. But I've been using that cheap generic VGA adapter uh, cables that you get on Amazon for about seven pound and that just works absolutely fine with this There is some bit of a noise problem So I do recommend trying to get a more premium VGA cable straight into this So now let's head over to some captured footage of each of these adapters and show you the pros and cons So here we have it We've got the level hike HDMI adapter shown on the left hand side of the screen and then we got the Kaiko on the right hand side of the screen Now the level hike adapter is available on the 
Bright Sprite web store, so you can be shipped out on the UK. I did purchase this from Amazon with a Kaiko one. So I don't know if you already noticed, on the right hand side you may see the whites a bit brighter than that of the left hand side of the screen with this level height. There have been a couple of complaints with both these cables as the Kaiko can push up too much of brightness and then also the level height can be a bit duller. But to actually resolve these problems I just trying to change the settings on the TV to adjust. So this is actually no change it on the filters or any TV settings this is as it comes so as you can see on the right hand side it is a bit too bright with the colors and then also with the left it is a bit dull but I think it's more of a stability on the actual contrast of colors with a level hike the only thing I did have an issue with with the Kaiko is basically there was a bit of noise interference only here and there nothing too interfering with the actual gameplay itself but as you can see both of these cables do a pretty brilliant job on itself and this is a plug and play factor it is pretty awesome. So I went ahead and booted up Skies of Arcadia. I'm in the same boat as a lot of people hoping for a HD port or even a remaster or even better a sequel that'd be absolutely awesome. So I'm going to leave you some footage now so you can actually see for yourself the basically benefits of each cable but personally I have to say I'm happy with either product. So one thing to note with the Dreamcast, it does have a 480p output and this actually works with basically 90% of the game. Now 480p is a very low high definition type of signal and the VGA actually puts that out as an analog signal. So what these adapters do is pull the VGA analog signal and converted it into a digital HDMI signal. That's all it does, it's all no uh, scaling involved so there's no latency I've experienced myself with either of these cables they actually do a pretty awesome job so now I'm going to do a side by side comparison with the level hike on the left hand side and then the OSSC on the right hand side so this is plugged in as I explained earlier VGA cable into the box and then HDMI out there's a lot of settings with the OSSC but this is just a pass through so this is a 480p resolution straight into here now the OSSC is more of a premium experience I did find a bit of noise originally but the actual signal and clarity is definitely better than that of the level hike I have to give you that Also, the clarity is definitely improved with the OSSC, and there's a lot of settings you can play around with this adapter to try and get the best image yourself and perhaps make the best compatibility with what TV that you got. Now, one great thing with the Level Hike HDMI adapter and the Kaiko is just a plug and play. Plug that into the console, straight into the TV. And I think that's probably what everyone really wants. But the OSSC does provide you definitely a better image clarity. Now, one thing also that uh, the OSSC gives you is line doubler mode. Now, this actually does scale it to times two of the lines of information. If you're a bit confused by that, it's not upscaling the image, it's just kind of doubling the information. So hopefully you may notice this in the video. There's definitely more clarity within the textures of the game. So the resolution does get bumped up by an obscure resolution, as I show you here, but that's, that's not accepted by my capture card, so I won't be able to show you that. Now one great benefit with the no, OSSC, which I do OSSC, really, which I really do support, really is the fact that you can actually accept my Elgato capture card. So this is what you're seeing as a direct pass through to my Elgato capture card. And as you can see, the image quality is pretty awesome. Now before I actually had my hands on the OSSC, I was using a VGA to HDMI upscaler. This was purchased on Amazon and it fetched me around about £25 and this actually accepts a VGA cable input of the signal of the Dreamcast and then upscales it to 720p or even 1080p. Now I don't really recommend this, this is a cheap affordable way to actually get captured footage from your Dreamcast. The 1080p visualization is very distorted and there was some noise but 720p was pretty, pretty fine. Now one bad thing about this actual VGA upscaler box that is pretty cheap is that it kind of scales the image and actually stretches it so there kind of is a bit more less clarity and it just stretched the image a bit bad as you can see now I got the OSSC on the left and then that cheap VGA upscaler on the right So 
So as I did state earlier, there are a fair few options out there for us. There are a couple of more cheaper options I kind of wouldn't really want to try personally because that is a little bit cheaper and I haven't really heard the best, but there are more premium connectors out there that push around about 70 to 80 pounds. So that is pushing the boat up for me even though the OSSC is even a little bit more, but you can actually use that connector with a lot more of the console. So that's why I like to use that. So hopefully this video has actually provided you with more information and understanding what is actually out there and give you more of an option to actually choose. So thanks for watching guys. And as always, if you like this video, hit that button. If you want to support, click subscribe, leave your comments below and I'll catch you guys on the next video.